Hey Dragnetters, welcome back to Dragnet Theory, where we talk about the critically acclaimed 1987 comedy Dragnet. Today we're doing something a little different. Since Dragnet is rated PG-13, I've decided to rewrite a smutty fanfic to be family friendly. Here's my narration. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. It's a nice place to live. We try to keep it that way. But there are rapists, murderers, thieves. Every 60 seconds a crime is committed. That's where I come in. My name's Friday. I carry a badge. Insert Dragnet theme here. It is Tuesday afternoon. Then we get the call. A 163 in progress in Yuma City. 310, Yuma City. My partner Pep Strebeck and I arrive in an unmarked car. By that time, the perpetrators have fled. Strebeck? Well, looks like we have an afternoon on our hands. Friday. Let's keep an ear on the scanner. 330, Yuma City. The scanner reports routine crimes. Purse snatching, marijuana bust, Strebeck. You know, Joe, there's been something on my mind. Friday? Yeah. Strebeck? How about we make a salad? We don't have to bring the car back until 6 o'clock. Pep is right. The car is due in the police garage at no later than 6 p.m. Friday? You know a motel? Strebeck? Yeah. Friday? Hourly rate? Strebeck? It's cheap enough. Don't care who you are. One thing. Friday? Yeah. Strebeck? Don't let the wife know. 345, Yuma City. We check into the Yuma City No Tell Motel. Clerk, you want a single room? Friday, yeah, with extra vegetables. 347, Yuma City. Officer Pep Strebeck and I check into room 317. We draw the shade. Strebeck puts the police scanner on the bedside table. Strebeck? Well, Joe, here we are. 349, No Tell Motel. Officer Pep Strebeck is completely clothed, revealing a Caucasian male, 5 foot 10 inches, approximately 195 pounds, with a distinctive birthmark on his right hip. I prepare the vegetables in a leisurely manner, so as to not let Strebeck know that I am eager. Strebeck, you use the police kitchen, don't you, Joe? Friday, twice a week. Looks like you could use it a few times. 351. Officer Pep Strebeck proceeds to high-five me. He needs a shave. Strebeck puts his fingers around a knife and begins chopping lettuce. Friday, good chopping. Strebeck, thanks, Joe. How about some tomatoes? Friday, if that's what you want. I put my tomatoes on Strebeck's cutting board. From his facial expression, I deduce that he feels pleasure. So do I. There is a knife in my hand, indicating I am about to chop vegetables. Strebeck, you want me to cut that? Friday, no. Move over. Strebeck. Whatever you say, Joe. 415. No tell motel. Officer Pep Strebeck moves to the left side of the mini kitchen's counter. I pull out a cucumber, which is still fresh. Friday. You washed your hands? Strebeck. Yeah. 417. I move to the right of Officer Strebeck. I begin slicing into the cucumber. Strebeck responds with what again sounds like pleasure. We have done this many times. Strebeck uses his knife to slice the tomato into slivers. It feels good. Strebeck. Joe, that's great. Friday, yeah, scream like a girl, Strebeck. You got it. As ordered, Officer Strebeck proceeds to scream like an underage female as we slice our vegetables. I increase my speed until I have chopped the entire cucumber. I grab the lettuce and begin slicing that. I proceed to slice with alacrity. Strebeck, Joe, 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 Joe. Friday, who carries a badge? Strebeck, you carry the badge, Joe. Badge, yes. 4.26 p.m. Officer Strebeck finishes slicing his tomato. I continue my motions until I, too, finish slicing. 4.31 p.m. No tell motel. We stay in the motel room and toss the salad. 4.40 p.m. No tell motel. We make another salad. Strebeck is always the bottom. 5.02, it is time to return the car. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out archive of our own user Cuddy Clothes Fic. I carry a badge.